Yo, Artie, can I holler at you for a minute? Pop tripping. He want me to ask you for the money for that shirt. You know I wouldn't even trip. What shirt? The one I sold you. The one I've been asking you about. The one you got on. Oh, this shirt. I ain't know you wanted the money, homie. I thought it was free. Let me go get the money for you. I mean, it, cause it's this blog. Me and my dad do Urban X and West. It's kind of like both of ours. You know, I'm just. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Cool. Cool. So over the weekend, as a result of the uh, siege on the Capitol, the you know insurrection, whatever they're calling it, um, Trump was deplatformed <laughs> off of every social media platform there is mm. instagram snapchat twitter facebook uh and this is all after mark zuckerberg said he would do it which i said tech companies do monkey uh, monkey see monkey do right Absolutely. so one which <coughs> once one company steps out ahead of something every everybody else has to follow right 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 even um shopify i didn't even know like shopify shopify spotify too Spotify. Yeah, he can't release no. He can't release no Obama diss tracks. He can't do nothing. Wow, wow. He can't do nothing. Wow. So, um, then the conversation became about censorship and should we be okay with it? Because a lot of people were celebrating this, right? And because they felt like you know Trump, what Trump did was it was all Trump's fault, and what he did was incite violence, right? I'm okay with that. If you feel somebody who is inciting violence. Needs to be deplatformed. I'm okay with that. Right? I'm not okay with no, that. No, but hold on, hold on. I'm okay. Like, if you say, if you can prove that somebody incited the violence, cool, right? These are not public platforms. They are private platforms. Yeah, that's because your, of that. If yes. that's your rule, that's your rule. Right. But what's happening is, and it's a slippery slope when it comes to freedom of speech, because what they're doing now, what uh, these app companies are doing they are trying to insert what they think you mean from your tweets and from your videos and from your Absolutely. statements and saying Absolutely. we think you incited you we think you wanted to incite violence from this so we're going to deplatform you a lot of people have been kicked off twitter a lot of people have been kicked off facebook because of old stuff they said and they're going back and retroactively going i think this was inciting violence yes so we need to suspend you or kick you off altogether right now this becomes a bigger conversation um beyond trump to what power what kind of power these platforms have because once they let out once they uh, laid out all the platforms that banned him off their services off their app i was like damn how do you even like what do you do after that like you you Absolutely. don't exist you like don't, you you do not exist like mm -hmm. how do you talk to anybody like you are mm -hmm. effectively like done like how do you mm -hmm. how do you even go about that and that led to another that leads to like a, a great conversation about how much power these platforms have and we spoke i spoke about this last week i believe i said yo to to reach like that billion dollar like company mark like you have to have some kind of government assistance like because google is so powerful you got to understand like i get it i it was formed in somebody's garage yeah, right yeah but that is probably like the most powerful or the most important that's the entity most, on the planet and, and, on the planet Google and you telling me somebody just runs that or some people just in some there randomly independent yeah, entrepreneur like you getting a hell no geek somewhere who started this in his hell no basement or garage is running the world yeah I don't think so but right continue so um that Facebook Facebook as well because uh, you can shape so much from what people see on Facebook and Instagram that you cannot tell me that these people are not in bed with what the government is asking for. No, so, absolutely. So, we talked about, we spent a lot of time this year, or last year, on the power that the media has. 
Yes. Right? The power, like the way they shape narratives, the way they keep us talking about what they want us to talk about. The kind con- the next part of that conversation is these tech companies. And you can't tell me that every one of these news corporations and these apps from the look of it had a stake in who won is who won the presidency. Absolutely, young man. Preach. You know what I'm saying? So I I'm curious to see because a lot of people cuz uh, a lot of people like Carrie Hilson, she tried to bring up the conversation about censorship in general and she got dragged for for supporting Trump and she said this goes beyond Trump. Like I said, it just goes beyond right that Trump piece. is going to be the fall guy, but we all should be paying very close attention yeah. to this because you are now owned by the social media apps that you participate in. We we talked about uh cuz prime example, uh Parler. We talked about Parler a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, and that was supposed to be a new social media app that a lot of conservatives were running to because of the censorship going on on Facebook and Twitter. So a lot of people ran to that. What happened now is because of what happened at the Capitol building, Apple um, and Google placed or uh, disbanded them, so now they can't even host. They can't even uh, promote and sell, like you know, uh, have it up for download on these platforms. On these platforms, and then Amazon, which Paula uses Amazon servers, said, "I can't use us now." So now they're suing Amazon. So now they're suing Amazon. But like we said, we all we took we get on these platforms all the time. Black people, we need to have our own. We need if. What you're saying goes against mainstream media. You can't have your own, and they let you know that you can't have your own. Right, right. Because you know, at at the at the at the foot of it, or at the root of it, is your freedoms. Right, your freedoms. You cannot say. So what happens after they get Trump out of the way, and now they're coming for the little guys? You know, what I'm saying where you have to watch every single. This is Big Brother. This is Big Brother. Big Tech. Big Pharma. Big media, all of these, big corp, all of these are in bed together. There's one conglomerate, you know what I mean? And it's all about control. Mm -hmm. So y'all cheering, yeah, we got Trump out of here. But what if Malcolm X was alive today? He'd be done. Oh, yeah. He'd be, shit, he'd be real done, right? So we understand (laughs) what's going on here. So let's not be quick to celebrate. Okay, celebrate Trump out. Cool, do that. Yeah, do that. But you got to look past that and what's coming down the pipe next because they already got rid of Farrakhan on, on a lot of platforms. They did. And he wasn't even inciting no violence. Right. Farrakhan is a very peaceful man. He, he would never come out directly. Well, maybe he would, but you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But lately he hasn't. He's been on his peace movement mm-hmm. and they was able to find a reason to ban him. Yes. So, and this is how they get you. They got all of us. It's sort of like a crack sample. Mm-hmm. They gave us all samples. We hooked now. Right. Now that we're hooked on social media, now that social media has made a lot of people millionaires off of social media, a lot of people spend eight, nine hours a day on social media, now they're going to tighten up the screws because there's nowhere for you to go now. Where do you go? Where do you go if these platforms go, nah, son? We, you, you can't say nothing about nothing. Where do you go? Right. So it's all a part of a plan to bring us in. Every time they give you something, they take something away. Right. So they gave it, they made it convenient for you to have this little cool phone with your songs in it and this and that. You can call your gamma and all that shit and picture and picture. <laughs> And then they started tracking you. Mm-hmm. They started listening to you. So watching what you, you watching you. So what we gave up for a few uh, trinkets of convenience has now got us trapped. And I need you all to pay attention because tonight's show is going to be about where do we go from here? And don't give me the lofty dreams. Let's start our own. We need blueprint plans laid out on how that happens. Because even if we don't have the servers... What if I, I create a platform and I'm saying it's freedom of speech to say whatever you want? I still need the servers. Yeah. Right? To carry this new app that we've created. And if the major servers go, nah, y- y- y'all can't rock with us. Right. Then what do you do? You can't get your own server. And once you get past 10,000 subscribers, it crashes. Or some little geek tech dude can crash your server 
whenever they feel like it. This is a big game about information and how fast information is moving <clears throat> and how many people are in connected with that. Yeah. How many people are moving together. So do not think Big Pharma is one company, Big Tech is another, Big Media. they all down together. And this was the first time to me this revealed their hand. This this move with all these uh, companies banning uh, some some white man.